All right, guys, pneumatics lab number 15. Again, you don't have to start with uh, 14, then go 15, 16, 17. You can do them in any order that you wish now. They're all equally hard, uh, so just pick one and go for it. So next one we're going to do is number 15, the automatic sliding door. Uh, you're going to do a control circuit for a pneumatic door. On either side of the door, there's a pneumatic push button. So we're going to make use of each of those push buttons. Uh, either push button is going to open up the door. Limit switches are going to determine the positioning of our door. And once the door hits the open limit switch, it's to close automatically. However, you must provide speed control and a time delay on the closing of the door, extending the cylinder to allow people enough time to get through the door before it closes. So I found a YouTube video that's pretty comical, but it's exactly what we're looking for. Hang on for a minute. All right, guys, I usually call this the granny door, uh, but this guy has called it the Star Trek door, and he's doing exactly what we're looking for. Push button here. As soon as he presses it, the door opens. He walks through and allows a little bit of time before it closes. So we need some time delay there. And you'll notice that when the door closes, it doesn't just slam shut, it just slowly closes. Have a look. And then there's normal operation, which is where you can press the button and it'll open for a certain amount of time and then close by itself.